This is going to be a recording of how to install NAV Easy Security in uh, the 2013 version of NAV. First thing is to import some new objects. There's no merge, it's just uh, all new objects. There's another extra file required for some of the field level security stuff, so I'm going to import those one also. Um, the best way to launch the associated service here is actually just uh, to go in and um, run the page from inside the classic client, so it will ensure I get the right service tier, the right database, uh, and the right company even in here. So it now launches my wizard here for installation. I need to put in a few pieces of information in here. I already exported all the objects, so it's a little cheating here, um, but it, there's no reason to sit and wait uh, a minute for that one. And then I want to go here and initialize a complete setup. It comes up with uh, several messages during the process, but basically it moves all the security settings from the existing database into uh, EC security in here. And uh, it comes up with a comment for each uh, piece. And now the longest piece here is actually the source code analysis, and it's uh, reading the actual source code finding all the table relation, flow fields, fact boxes, and so on that are in the source code that can have an influence on how um, security is actually built. So this source code analysis is uh, based on the actual code, and it's scanning all uh, 2.7 million lines of code uh, that is actually inside the rotor or inside the NAV 2013 application. So, large portion of that code is actually inside the reports, as you can uh, see it goes through that right now. There's only a few minutes, le few seconds left here, and then the source code analysis uh, will actually be done. Pages is the last portion here, and then uh, it's done with the source code analysis. Two point four million lines of code in seventy one seconds. Uh, there was uh, one hundred and fifty seven rows. The whole setup completed in ninety three seconds. There's a few tests uh, that happens after the install for unrelated uh, permissions and so on. But basically, Easy Security is now set up, and I have all the information um, available in here as I normally would have. So to do a test of this one, I could basically go and change to my new role center in here. So let's go switch to my rotor client, user personalization, select my uh, easy security role center, and then close the client, and basically just go run this one again. So it opens up the right uh, service tier in here for me. So I don't need that one, I just need this one in here. So I can see all my roles. Um, I have my role center with uh, my actions out here also. So I can go and publish permission as a test here, and this one is the first. So and I'll just uncheck this one and publish permission. This one basically updates the permissions in the live system with the one from inside uh, Easy Security, uh, just as a test that everything works. That's the most complicated process in the whole system. It's now creating a restore point, so if it goes wrong, you can actually revert back to a previous restore point, and then it now writing the restore point to a live system, and it would uh, basically finish, so the permission has been published in here. So uh, that was uh, roles and login part. The other thing is the field level and data security. So uh, let's go in and uh, do the setup in that one. So I already ran a source code analysis, so I actually as I suggest here, I would just use that one for my field level and uh, data security in here. So it added all that information for me. The next thing I want to do is select which tables I want to have um, field level security on. And I'll just select a list of the most interesting common places to put it in. 36 and 37 in here. There exists an issue currently with uh, some code in the beta that uh, you should not put high code in uh, the page parts. If you do it, 
it will potentially blow the client away, so I'm just checking this one so it won't uh, write that piece of code in here. Else, I just need to select my text file. And again, I cheated a little here and exported it uh, beforehand. And then I want to implement my changes in code. This one now, it's like the source code analysis. It goes through read a lot of information out of the source code. But the other thing it's also doing is implementing all the code needed um, to uh, implement field level actions and data security inside those objects that are displaying for those tables that I selected before in the list. This engine can also run in reverse. So basically it means it's like, yeah, you can run it and implement the code, but it can, of course, also pull the code away again. So it really works mostly like a implementing a text layer where there's a process that implements it, there's a process that removes it, and there's really no impact on upgrades, uh, customizations, uh, implementing other ISV solutions and things like that one because you can basically pull the code out, put it in uh, after you're done with the upgrades or working with the objects. It's finishing here in a, se a few seconds, and I need to go to uh, um, the classic client. So I basically had 78 pages um, that were modified. So let's go to my classic client and import my uh, text file. I have my out file here that is the output of the install process. And let's filter for the one that are not compiled in here. And that's just pages and three code units in the EC security range. Now finish compiling, so let's go take a look at my uh, sales orders. You see in here right now, all menu items are available. If I go in and say new, all fields are editable in here. So let's go implement some uh, field level security, and I'll just do it for the blank user in here. Uh, and it will be in table 36. It defaults to my read-only setup, that is one of the the setups that are created automatically. So I'll go ahead and just select read only. Go back, open up my serial order again. I can see now my menu items are actually already grayed out in my list. If I click new, all the fields are grayed out. I can insert any information and I actually has all the menu items grayed out also. This of course can be totally customized to enable all the fields and so on, but basically this one finished the install process of uh, ease security inside NAV 2013 uh, beta.